What's up, party people? Android Stud here, and I have an Android P or Android Pi, officially the official update on the Essential Phone. They got it today, August the 6th, and they are rocking and rolling. As you can see here, we're going to go into settings. We are going to go into system about phone, and you will see right there Android 9 in full effect. Now, one of the things that I noticed, it has the July security patch. Yeah, I know Pixel owners, you have the August. Congratulations, you're one month ahead of me. One of the things that was kind of neat, that I thought it was kind of bizarre. I don't know if this was on this phone before. I never really noticed it. But if you go into developer options, settings, developer options, and you go down to simulate notch, it changes this dimple notch to a couple different things, which is actually kind of bizarre if you think about it. So if you go here to simulate a display with a cutout, there's none. You can do the corner display if you want to notch on the corner. Hey! <laughs> and then you got one where you have the double display notch, which has that one. But you ready? Watch on the bottom. Yep. You have double notch, Google will only allow you to have two notches. So there it is, two notches. And then if you go here and you do the tall display, you get that bad boy there. So kind of cool. I don't know, it's different. I'm just kind of playing around with the settings. And you also will get the battery manager now, which was not available on the betas. And this will kind of monitor your app so it should improve battery life on the essential phone which is great you also get adaptive brightness so if you go into display advanced and then you look for adaptive brightness you get that there and what it's gonna what it does it says that your screen brightness will automatically adjust to your environment and activities you can move the slider manually to help adapt the brightness learn your preferences so that's kind of cool and then obviously you get your you get your cards here, you get your gestures. Um, if you want to go back and forth between the two, you can hit this little pill bar here and it'll go between the two, as you see here. And it is pretty, flows pretty fast. You can go like that. And then you have your clear all. You want to clear all your, your cards, you can. You could also swipe one away if you want. You just got it going like that. They are gone. And then you have your clear off. You want to get rid of all of them. Bye bye. And you got your here, your hold down the power button. You got your usual screenshot, restart, and power off. And then your volume. If you hit your volume, you get your volume there on the side. So those are coming some of the features on the Android display. Uh, refresh notifications, rotation suggestion, which means that it will rotate. When you rotate it, you get a suggestion here. If you go to uh, settings, display, and then you got to go to rotation. Let's see here. Advance. And you want to go to, let's see, rotation. Where Where are you at? rotation rotation of device auto rotate you want to turn that off uh, there we go turn that off now if you are in an app let's say and you turn it you will get a suggestion here on the top right you see that little icon there and you just hit that and it'll rotate for you now, I prefer the auto-rotate, but that's kind of kind of nice. If you want to go back and forth, you can. That's kind of cool. And like I said, it has the ref refresh uh, rotations on it. Um, suggestion, uh, refresh notification. So if you pull this down here, you get all kinds of uh, different kind of um, suggestions for your notification. 
That'll do it, man. That's Android P on uh, Android Pie on the Essential Phone. I will have more in-depth videos on this sucker, but you guys can follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, one word, Instagram, Facebook, and Google Plus. I will catch you guys later. Peace. <laughs>